So good morning, everybody. <laughs> We're at the beautiful M Town M Studio. Been exactly. a while, and it's an amazing one today, right? Yeah, I can't we, wait. We got a call, and we will see a car today that we haven't seen uh, seen before. You guys might not have seen this one as well, I yeah. suppose, because this one is a banger and long awaited. Haven't been around yeah. since. Oh, this was around in the 2000s, the last time they built one. I think we're gonna keep the intro super short because we have a lot to talk about in there. Let's go. Okay, okay he's okay, ready. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> they have to be kidding me. What? Wow. Okay, I was expecting a lot. Don't don't show it yet. No 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 no. Don't show it yet. Like I was expecting quite a lot because like there was a huge hype about this car. This is crazy. <laughs> this is really what crazy. What do you say? This is just amazing. So I would say let's yeah. look at it. So this is the brand new M4 CSL and C CSL coupe, yeah. sport and lightweight. Um, so basically, this is the most extreme M4 that you can have on the street. It is completely performance uh, oriented. There are no back seats. This is a carbon fiber bonnet. You can see it here. You can see it here. You can see it here even. Look at the design and look at. This is completely, this is not an M4 hood at all. They no, no. went all the way and made a complete new hood. And this is not an easy part because you have to do the crash testing, all that stuff. So this is expensive to come up with something like this. Yeah, complete aerodynamic package. So they try to channel the air around the tires a little bit better because ah. the airflow is always very difficult around the tires. And so they yeah, did tricks with this one. Bigger air intake in the front because there's less uh, obstruction. Are the lights different as well? Yes, the lights are different as well if I'm not mistaken. The front splitter also changes aerodynamics quite a bit, even though it's a very small part, but it changes the whole flow underneath the car and this is quite, quite vital. The interior and the look from the side, like it is an M4, no question. But it's just not. It's just not. It's just. And I just noticed a very interesting detail that I'm a big, big, big fan of. Look at this. I love it. And what I find highly, highly sexy is we've seen those before. We've seen this part before, but this we haven't. So, and I can tell you, you know, we have discussions about this. Yeah. On like a car you drive on a daily basis. Yeah. I'm a big fan of <laughs> the tires that do not really make sense for a daily car. They do, but also not, because they're racetrack tires, and I love them. Yes. You, you really, really have to go careful in rain, but when it's dry, they're awesome, and I can't. So, what them. Joe is talking about are the Michelin Cup 2 tires that he drives on his daily and I'm driving on my daily and they actually, yeah, as, as you already said, race tires. So if the surface is uneven, they really pull you to one side. So you have to have the steering wheel in the hands all the time. Where should it be while you're driving? <laughs> like for, for, for like performance driving, I'm fully down with that. But for daily driving, I actually would prefer a UHP tire, not a semi-slick tire. Um, however, Boring. <laughs> Everyone can choose as he likes. Uh, on this one, they went one step ahead and they have the Cup 2R tires. And the R, yes, it stands for racing. And these tires are just mad. Like, they need the heat that they work. So, uh, Mr. Engineer. Yeah. So, dimensions are the same. The wheels actually aren't. Yeah, the wheels are different. Dimensions, front is 275, 35, 19. And in the rear, it's 285, 30, 20. Same as in, yeah. uh, on the M4 and, and M4 I, I think this is, uh, again, 
regarding the performance aspect of this car because if you put 21s in the rear the sidewall gets so small that you probably don't find the maximum mechanical grip so I think this is a really really well choice and it suits the car perfectly it's so balanced it's yeah. insane <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> haven't seen that, haven't seen that. Oh, wow. I don't know if the camera can catch this, but this is crazy. This is really crazy. This is, I have to say, let me, let me, let me look at it from a bit of a distance. This is almost like four dimensional. Like you can see that this one is behind that one and that one is behind that one and it's going yes. around and I mean, I was expecting wow. a lot, but this already, and we haven't even really gotten started so far, is... I at least got fully distracted, because yes. this <laughs> one... <laughs> it's no metal. Yep. It's carbon fiber again. So this is amazing. This is really amazing. And I mean, there are so many amazing color combinations already for the M4 and M4 competition. But look at this one. <laughs> This is uh, proper racing, my friends. This is FIA, I would say. Yeah, and yeah, these, these are full bucket seats. No folding down of the... Oh, those are full bucket buckets. ones. Yeah, yeah. I think they even save around 24 kilograms over normal bucket seats. So lightweight yeah. <laughs> was, was one of the... Ooh. Where's the key? He, he's somewhere over there, but I don't don't give it to you yet. Oh. Do you see this? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> they, oh they put even more carbon fiber in the yeah, middle yeah, not console. Only carbon fiber. This is com this is a completely different console so, than yeah. uh, the M4 usually has. Completely different. This is also everything is different in here. This is a new interior. What the hell? Even the lights are different. Oh yeah, you're, you're right. Even the lighting, it's not as distracting. This is to stay focused on. Oh, look, look, look what they did. <laughs> they have the wireless, wireless charging, charging with a rubber inlay so the phone doesn't go wee <laughs> when you go into the first turn. Have this you turned is... around already? No, 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 no. I have not yet turned around. So let us Turn have around. a look-see in one aspect how they did save 100 kilograms? Just 100. around 100 kilograms. Yeah. Look Wait. at them here. <laughs> no back seats. This is exactly how it should be. And the two holes you see there, yep. they are for your helmets. Check for your out. and your co-driver's helmets. Check it out. Here. See it? You put the helmets there. Put the helmets put the there, put the net, and the helmets don't go flying. They have their place, and this is exactly what you need in a car like this. Ooh. Hello. We had the stiffest chassis I've ever seen in my whole life before. Let's make it even better by adding this strut bar. So normally this is a two-piece Separated thing. Separated in two. Now it's all in one. And they, added, they added another um, two points Look to connect. Look at the size of, of the, the bolts, bolts yeah. my friend. So this is... This is quite... I think probably the same um, turbos. Turbos, I guess it's the same turbos. Um, so twin turbo, uh, mono scroll, but they are really small. The, um, the spool, spool the spool is really, really good. Uh, they pull really from down low until top refs. So this is, this is amazing. Oh, I mean, wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. Yep. So there you can see the whole carbon fiber bonnet also with M logo. This is amazing. This is really, really cool. I tried to summarize some of the hard facts on this car. Around a 100 kilos lighter because of carbon fiber bonnet, carbon fiber roof. This is also for the competition and a carbon fiber bootlet with a ducktail inside. Then we have bucket seats. We have less sound deadening. And yeah, they basically looked at each and every part. Is it needed? Can we make it lighter? And they did so. So no rear seats, more stiffness like this one, more power. They upped the boost up to 2.1 bars. So this is amazing. 550 horses now. This is, this is, this is serious. Like car accelerates from zero to 100 in 3.7 seconds and from zero to 210.7 seconds. I mean, guys, let's be honest. Like a couple of years ago, what car does that? Like what category of car is in 
that leak. Oh, like this is crazy. This is the strongest and fastest ever built M4 from the BMW M GmbH. Also, regarding the stiffness, this is one part. The engine and the gearbox are also stiffer mounted to the chassis, so you get more direct feeling. I was about to say, yeah. this will make a difference. People will be like, oh, what do I care? Yeah. You will care. You will care and it will be part of how the car feels. Exactly. How it talks to you. Then, really serious tires. The R tires, the R cup tires. So these are basically just, just barely street legal slicks. <laughs> Take a seat, have a seat my friend. Another fact are the yellow icons of the lights and they are basically related to the GT motorsports program uh, which is amazing and they look awesome. They look so awesome and especially together with the real lights where they have a completely new technology. Crazy. This is just what a car, what a car. Talking about the start First time BMW used the CSL Coupe Sport Lightweight theme was in 72 with a 6 series of the E9 um, production line. So they built a car also very light, they used different materials for bonnet fenders and so on. They reduced everything inside they could reduce and it was built for European. And they not only built it for European touring car Correct. racing, but they also won it, right? Exactly, they won it in 73 outright and this was the first time. It was also a 3 liter 6 cylinder engine, that's why it was called the 3.0 CSL. Very iconic car, also called the Batmobile because of the fins and the, the rear spoiler. Time around the motor brake. This is one, um, like, I would guess it's a tricky one, but this thing is fast. This thing will be super fast. I, I think, I guess it can hit below 720, I guess. This, this would be really nuts, like super nuts. <laughs> one of you guys knows the time from the grandfather. Then, yeah, the 30 CSL. Put it in the comments. I and would so love to hear this titanium exhaust system of this one because oh. it doesn't mm -hmm. only look different I can imagine it does sound different also yeah and the sound of those engines they have OPF all that stuff inside and it is nice yeah it is nice so this like, one almost looks the same almost yep almost but if you look down here the color looks a little bit different and I before I thought hmm could be normal but no this is titanium, titanium. It saves another four kilograms just on the back part of the exhaust. So Four kilograms is a lot. This is a lot. This is a lot. Do you want to start it? No. I know the sound engineering on this car does change quite dramatically as soon as it picks up some temperature. And just, it's just, already now it's just totally imagining different. what this will be like <laughs> when it's warm. <laughs> oh. So I think Joe just fell in love. Joe, hello. I think he just found the car. I want this car. Like this, I want this. You guys just made the best car. Thank you for that, BMW M. God damn.